Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Tramley Football Fan with me, your host John Seeger. Uh, just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who voted for me what game to go to on Tuesday night. We will announce the video at the end of this video today, where we're going. We'll announce where we're going at the end of this video today. Bit of a different video today, so I put a Twitter out, poll out, another Twitter poll out earlier saying, what shall I do apart from the FA Cup games? So obviously, COVID-19 is kind of restricted everywhere we want to go, but there's a big non link scene. So I'm going to try and do as many long league games as I can over the next season. So this is the first one of them today. And yeah, I did my research. Someone suggested me to go to this game. So this is the game we're going to today. So our journey begins here once again in South Croydon in Surrey. And we make a short journey to Eden Park Avenue, home of Beckenham Town Football Club. And this is the journey we'll take today. First, it's a short hop on a bus into central Croydon and then from there it's a short bus journey from East Croydon station to Eden Park station which takes roughly around about 35 minutes and then a five minute walk to Eden Park Avenue home of Beckenham Town Football Club and a very grisly cloudy game lies ahead. I've been inside the ground here in um, Beckenham Town it looks very very nice get nice nice effect get a nice view of like all the uh, crystal palace towers which don't seem too far away from here yeah it seems like a nice really really nice local ground and it's derby as well so it's uh, back in the town versus chatham town today so that's going to be a bit of fun let's see how the game goes Go just before half time, chat and take the lead. Lovely work, ball worked in from the right hand side. And Jack Evans, the former Gillingham lad, tipped, at the second attempt, I would say, uh, got the ball in and just uh, tipped in right in front of the keeper. Chat and won them up about 10 minutes to go. Second goal for Chatham, literally just after the kickoff. They get the ball at the other end, and Ryan Hayes got the ball on the edge of the box and just drilled it into the bottom long corner. Chat and 2 0 up, and we've got to say, safe for three points here. Just come to the end of the first half. It's half time here and Chatham are uh, 2 0 up. Got to say, penalty save completely changed the game. It was a great save, low down to his left, and it was just cleared away. And then just that just gave Chatham a lot, a lot of confidence. And Jack Evans scored and it just changed the game from there. So, it's got to need a lot for uh, Beckham to get back into the game. Let's see what happens in the second off. I hope, but let's see if they do. Three one now to Chatham. Lovely goal, but a um, bit of a tight situation. Really, really nasty. Um, Reese Butler 
Got the end of the corner, but went shoulder first right into the into the post. Bit of a knock, but he's up now. So um, yeah, three one. We've got to say game over. Oh, another Chatham and um, Luke Rinney, lovely goal. Laid off to him right in the middle, just outside the D, and uh, he just curled it into the bottom corner. And 4-1, um, and I've got to say game over, definitely now. Fifth goal for Chatham now, and I've got to say, well, well taken again by um, Jack Evans. Second goal of the game for him, just worked into the middle, he just coolly, coolly tucked it in the keeper, right into the bottom corner, 5-1, literally about a few minutes left to go. Just on our way outside the ground now, it finished 5-1. I've got to say Chatham properly deserved that. They had the quality, especially after the penalty. They just penalty could just completely change the game. And then back then got a goal in the first first minute and second half. And I thought this is gonna be ooh. This could be a bit tasty, but um yeah. Chatham showed their quality towards the end. Luke Rooney and um Jack Evans, both ex-football league players, definitely showed their class today. So we'll keep an eye on Chatham because I think they could do really, really well this season. So we'll keep an eye on them. And yeah, on to Tuesday night now. So I've got to say big thank you to everyone who voted. We had over 100 votes across Twitter, across Instagram and across Facebook. And I've got to say, with 67% of the votes, we are going to Crawley, not Crawley. <laughs> We're going to Cray Valley Paper Mills versus Averley FC on the Tuesday night. So we're going to Elton on the Tuesday, so that's going to be fun. And yeah, we'll see you there. It's been fun today. Nice to come down to Beckham and see a few friends and um, nice to spot a few people who I know from Chatham as well. So yeah, it's a really, really good day today. So I'll leave you on that note. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment below and see what you think of the game and uh, subscribe and share to uh, a travelling football fan. I'll say goodbye now, but we'll leave you some of the highlights on a Kentish day out for Chatham and a five-star performance. From all of us here in Beckham, cheerio.